everybody I'm going to show you how to use prism video converter or how I use it that is this will disappear here so you ain't got to worry about that what I do is I uh, actually you want to put an output folder mine goes back to my videos folders you, you can browse and put it on your desktop or uh, wherever you want make a folder or what have you that's up to you and then uh, you choose uh, the output format. I use this one. Of course, there's you can use AVI, MOV, wh whatever you prefer. Why I use this one, I don't have a clue. I just like it, I guess. And the encoder options, you can go in here. I really don't mess with this too much. But it's up to you guys. You can. The edit output, a lot of it you can use 16.9 and 4.3. I really don't mess with it. Sometimes I should, but I don't. But anyways, it's pretty simple how to use this. So what I'll do is I'll add a file. Let me see if I can find one here. Let's see. I mean, I got so many. I don't, I don't. Let's, let's do this one. So you can convert it right here. But I always just go select since I already have it pulled up. And then you come back over here once it's blue once you click it on it turns blue you can come over here to convert of course i've already have this so i'll go ahead and i'll, I'll override it for you see what happens here once it uh once it once it's done it'll go beep and uh it's done so you can go back and preview it so it, it's pretty simple I mean for free you can't beat it it's taking a little bit just a little bit longer There it is. It's done. Okay. Now we can exit out of there. And I'm going to go to my documents and see if it's in there. To my video folder. See? What was that? Uh, team you can trust, was it not? It should be right here. See how it went to WMV? That's basically it. So, uh, I mean, it's pretty simple. Here it is here. It's uh, been converted to here. So, hope this helps you guys. Have a good one.